So we had another Lego Ninjago set that was built. This was built mostly by my son, Jacob, and my son-in-law, Jonathan. Uh, J well, Jacob built most of it. Jonathan finished the last two bags. But it is this temple of Arjitsu, I think it's called. It's just a cool-looking city. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know why Ninjago makes these awesome-looking sets. I mean, look at these buildings. They're just amazing. And you got the big building... It's really neat. And then this little side building with Indiana Jones. Or is that Alan Grant? I can't tell. Is that Alan Grant? I don't know the characters from Ninjago. Extra pieces there. I got a whole big bag of extra pieces. These go with one of the little cart thingies or something. Uh, but yeah, fishing poles. Lots of minifigures. Just a really cool looking set. There's some treasure chests up there. There's so many hidden features. I didn't build this, so I don't know what's in here. Uh, but it's just amazing looking through, seeing what you can see. <laughs> I'm looking at this as a person who didn't build it. There's probably some hidden features. Oh, yeah, this thing turns. and That obviously does something. I have no idea what it does. I wonder if it broke. What is this thing? Uh, I have to ask, they might be bricks. And there's stuff up there. Oh, there's the little cart that gets the extra pieces. One of the guys flies, but I don't know how to connect them. They don't really show it that good in the instruction manual. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> that is too wild. There, now we got it going. Oh, that is awesome. So something's loose in here where it's not hitting the button. That is so cool. I don't like Ninjago. No, I don't like Ninjago. Why do they do this? Hello there. <laughs> hey, it's Chabo. Welcome to Brigzar. Uh, the most important Ninjago channel on YouTube, uh, apparently. Uh, don't look that up. I uh, have really enjoyed these Ninjago sets. And of course, I didn't build that one, the uh, Air Jitsu, I think it is. I think that's what it's called. I, I should probably look at the box, but I'm pretty sure that was one that you, when you bought it, you got another set for free that was like a $50 set, also a Ninjago set, which I think they might be Ricks, might have built it. I don't know. But that one's pretty, I mean, it was a really great deal. So I. I I, I couldn't pass it up, and I said, you know, this building looks pretty cool, but then we never did build it until this past couple of weeks, and uh, wow, they, these Ninjago sets have been amazing. I, I'm not going to become a Ninjago fan. I don't anticipate that, but these buildings have looked uh, thoroughly amazing. So it's, it's one of those things where you can appreciate another theme, even if it's not one that you collect, uh, for some of the things that they, they make in there. So i got a couple of things here. This is going to be a haul. And I blame Mardi Gras Man for this one. Uh, I was hoping to get a t-shirt box, but this one's too rectangular. I, I like the, the, the bigger ones for the t-shirts. This one's really, uh, I guess, going to be too small. So I struck out on that. But since we didn't get the box, we won't. We'll see what's in here. Maybe this will make up for um, getting the wrong box. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like overkill for the box. I need the packing materials because I'm, I'm I have started listing stuff on eBay trying to get, uh, thin things out. Uh, I got a t-shirt. This is a yellow submarine t-shirt uh, with tie-dye. So I like I used to have a tie-dye shirt one that I made myself. I actually had a couple of them but they wore out years ago. They were from the 80s. <laughs> uh, but this is what I bought. Uh, thanks to Mardi Gras Man 23 for telling me about this. Uh, MR Productions may have done a video on this as well. I, I may not have watched that one. But uh, this is uh, uh, one of the Order 66 sets. That's sets that begin with 666. It seems to be one of LEGO, their favorite numbers to use, 666, when they're combining sets. So 66674, it combines. Oh, look, a Luke Landspeeder. That's just what we needed. Uh, we got Duel on Mustafar, which I did not have, and also 
Obi-Wan's hut, which I didn't have. So I think I had the Luke's land speed. I thought I had it. Was that the one? Yeah, that's the one we had. Uh, we did build that one and actually showed that one on camera, believe it or not. But I did not have the other two sets. So now I got the thing here. So obviously this was a Walmart exclusive. It was $50, I think. I hope that wasn't a bad price. <laughs> I think it was $50. Uh, but yeah, that was Mardi Gras Man 2 3. Sent me the link to that and we picked it up. So yeah, another of the 6666666 sets. All right, the next package here is from Bricklink. It looks like it's packed in a cereal box. Uh, it's from Hungary. Uh, enjoy free extra gobatons. Let's see. This is boy. This is gonna be a hard one to open up. I'm trying to open it. It's not cereal. I don't think it is Lego. And what kind of Lego did we get? Oh, look, more packing material so that I can use for things that I'm selling. If I don't destroy it, too bad opening this. Ah, all right. So, been collecting Lego service packs lately. And this is uh, the old nine volt motor. This would have been the type of nine volt motor I had as a kid. What year, man? This is it's probably a later year. It says 87 and 89. That motor was out way earlier than that. But it's the Technic motor. It says 5101 on the bag. But it was a sealed service pack. So I'm collecting those. We got... Let's see. Uh, a Duplo set. Which I don't... Yeah, this style of poly bag I haven't seen here in the United States. But this Duplo poly bag uh, with the cake on it. Got that one. Should be another service pack in here. Yeah, here it is. We got this service pack, which is one of the little sirens. So sound, I think this is a sound activated brick. Yeah, nine volt. So 5036 sealed service pack. So adding to my service pack collection. What else do we got? We got some wheels for the giant builds that we're going to be doing. I got about eight wheels, it looks like there. Oh, look. Some tippers. So there's a couple of trans clear one by sixes in there. Five more tippers. <laughs> I actually ordered this before we got the, th the 288 of them from MDS Bricks. Uh, but I got eight of these wheels. And uh, parts with tooth marks, worn, scratch, second quality, but usable. Please see your description. All right. But this is, uh, oh, I'm just going to, he taped this up. I'm just going to cut it. Um, one of the main things here is this fishing pole with the fish, which goes to a Fabuland set, the caravan, which I'm working on completing. There's the four by 10 plate. Oh, that means I can make another tipper truck. <laughs> and I got some headlight bricks. Oh, and look, some macaronis, headlight bricks. So I can build one more tipper truck that'd get me up to 462. And these are gonna be for large vehicles uh, that we're gonna build. All right. All right, we got this package, which, I don't have a U.S. order, and it says it's addressed to Brickzar, so I'm not sure what this is. So we're going to open this up and see if we can, well, obviously I can find out what it is by opening it. Let's see if it's something we ordered or something that was sent to us. It appears it was something that was sent. We got a letter. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. Okay, let me read. It's from Alan. Uh, he says, uh, hey, Jabo, greetings from Fresno, California. Fresno. That's the, the city from Monsters vs. Aliens. He says, I wanted to take the time to thank you for all the wonderful videos you produce. I have been a fan of your channel for the last couple of years and have thoroughly enjoyed every video. I've even commented on a few. I've especially enjoyed the Tipper Truck Armory series and the 6x8 USCS Tipper Truck build. Thank you. It says, the oversized build made me think that you might enjoy some other oversized Lego elements which I have enclosed. 
Ah, oh. <laughs> I had a friend 3D print the items. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. So they are not officially Lego, but they still look good on display. Uh, please enjoy them in, in, in the order indicated on the wrapping. Okay, you got one, two, three. All right. <laughs> he says, about a year ago, I ordered from your BrickLink store and requested one of your final Pablos at that point. You did the Pablo with TMBB and were trying to figure out what I was building with the parts they ordered. You guessed at the end that I was building the UCS Millennium Falcon. You're correct. Although it was expensive, I did save a couple of hundred dollars on the build and also placed your signed 2x4 brick within the build. I have since taken the build apart but not before I had it professionally photographed. So there is Alan with his Millennium Falcon that he got photographed. And then he took it apart. That had to be hard uh, to take it apart. Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Alan. All right, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm recording. <laughs> Am I recording? <laughs> okay, number one. Number one. Can anybody guess what number one is? I don't, I'm afraid to look. Hey, I don't wanna mess it up. Oh, okay. It's the uh, Lego minifigure cup in red. Really like that. It's human-sized minifigure cup. <laughs> awesome. That's number one. Let's see what number two is. <laughs> that is too cool. The lightsaber hilt. <laughs> oh, and it's got the chrome finish that you did to it. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. That is too nice. All right, number three. Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. You gotta be kidding! <laughs> it works! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so he. too cool. Look at it. Even connect it there. See, this is a different scale, I think, there. But that, uh, I love the, the lightsaber hill. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't damage this too much firing it. But it's, it's one of the little flick fire, or they don't call them flick fire, but uh, stud shooter. The stud shooter and the lightsaber hilt. That is amazing. So, Alan, that's really cool, man. Thank you for sending these. That is... I know 3D printing is not super easy, but you make it look like barely an inconvenience. Um, that is great. That is great. So, thank you. Um, yeah, the hilt's better <laughs> than that. <laughs> now i got to get a, a giant, like... Uh, blade to go in there uh, that is just too cool so thank you alan i'll probably have to use these again in another video that's just that's too awesome that's way too awesome so that's that's everything um wow this was a pretty good video uh, between an awesome ninjago set a decent haul more parts for the tipper truck army adding one more tipper truck uh, even got a Beatles yellow submarine shirt that has nothing to do with Lego. Uh, thank you for the letter from Alan. And thank you Coors Light for not sponsoring the video. And we will uh, see you in the next one. Awesome. See ya. Oh.
shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> so I, um, I just realized this is the same shirt I was wearing in the uh, video. So this video will go out today. <laughs> I was going to do this for Sunday, but I, 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 I can't re it's one of those things you can't you can't recreate it. So I was like I actually briefly thought I was like, oh dang it, I forgot to change my shirt. And uh no, I'm um I can't. Because of Allen's and this stuff, it's gonna stay. So this will be this is uh Saturday's shirt. I'll have to do a different video tomorrow. <laughs>